Hello. Hey, I'm just finishing up some work here, but I'm so excited you're here. Today we get to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, which is genetics. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. We're going to talk about genetics, but specifically about twins. And twins are really fascinating, and most people are fascinated and want to talk to parents of twins about their twins. So they approach them with sometimes very interesting questions, but sometimes ill-informed questions. So my goal is to educate you so the next time you talk to a parent of twins, you can impress them with your knowledge. So we're going to talk about the difference between identical and fraternal twins. And with identical twins, they're called monozygotic. So monozygotic, mono meaning one, means that one zygote is formed. With fraternal twins, fraternal twins are dizygotic, di means two, so two individual zygotes are formed. So let's look at how that happens. So this is the egg here, and this is our sperm, and you can see the sperm is very small compared to our large egg. And if we were to look in the microscope, you would see that a human egg is very, very large, and a human sperm is very, very tiny. That's because the egg carries all that good information, and what the sperm brings is the genetic information, which is all it needs to bring. So with your monozygotic twins, what happens is one sperm fertilizes this one egg. Now in a normal situation, this would then go down into the uterus, and then we would have gestation for about nine months, and then a baby would be born. That's how most individuals are born one at a time. But in this case, the special case of monozygotic twins or identical twins, this one zygote then splits into two individuals. So now we have two genetically completely the same individuals. These are essentially clones genetically of each other. They both travel down into the uterus and gestate for about nine months and you're born with two individuals that are going to be boy-boy or girl-girl. You can never have a boy-girl set of identical twins because they have to have the same genes, the XX for girls and the XY for boys. So these are your identical twins. With identical twins, these are pretty rare. There's actually no known cause. Scientists aren't sure why this happens. It's just an extra set of cell divisions that happens. Um, and it's about one in every 250 births that this happens. So it's just a random chance that this will happen anytime there's a fertilization event. So no reason for that. But when we look at fraternal twins, fraternal twins, again, dizygotic, so two zygotes or two um, eggs are going to be ovulated at the same time from the mother. And that is unusual. Usually it's only one at a time. So in this case, we have two eggs from a hyperovulating mother. And then we have two sperm from the father. So you can see that they're different colors because they're different genetically. So these individuals have their own genes. They are not clones of each other. They're actually no more related than normal siblings who are born years apart. So these are your dizygotic twins. So these can be, again, boy-boy, they could be girl-girl, or they could be girl-boy because they are unique genetically. Um, the odds of this are going up dramatically. So since the 1980s, um, the amount of multiples, not just twins, but triplets and quadruplets have gone up due to all the fertility treatments that people are undergoing. But actually, twins without fertility treatments occurs for multiple reasons. So there are certain populations that have higher incidences of um, fraternal twins. So older mothers are more likely to have um, fraternal twins. Um, Populations from Africa are more likely to have uh, fraternal twins as well. And the mother who is going to have fraternal twins is called a hyperovulating mother, and she inherits that. That is a genetic thing. So there are specific genes now that we know you can pass on in the maternal line to that mother to allow her to ovulate more than one egg at a time. So it is something that you inherit, um, and that's what the mother inherits. It has nothing to do with the father specifically. So the mother has to ovulate those two eggs at the same time. So again, when we look at this, this is your dizygotic twins, so those are fraternal twins. These are your identical twins, and again, those are monozygotes. So the next time you see some twins with their parents out and about, you can come up to the parents and say, number one, you're doing an amazing job because you have a very hard situation with multiple kids at the same time, so you're amazing, right? But also then you can impress them with your knowledge. You can say, hey, um, if you have a girl-girl or a boy-boy, you can say, are they monozygotic? And they'll say, what? And you'll say, identical, are they identical? And they'll say yes or no based on whether or not they know that. Now, the only way you can tell that is by doing a DNA test, which can easily be done. If you see twins that are boy-girl, you can automatically know that they are dizygotic, and you can tell their parents, hey, your dizygotic twins are adorable, right? So twins, they're amazing, fun to talk about with genetics, and definitely not scary.